Demi Lovato still in hospital for extreme nausea and high fever following opiate overdose. Grammy nominee Demi Lovato is still very, very sick and recovering at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles six days after suffering a serious opiate overdose. The troubled 25 year old is being treated for complications including extreme nausea and a high fever, but she is expected to make a full recovery, according to TMZ. People close to the former Disney Channel starlet, who did a 2011 stint at Timberline Knowles, have urged her to return to rehab, but she's the one who has to decide to go. Paramedics revived unconscious Lovato last Tuesday with the opiate antidote Narcan after responding to a 911 call from the $8.3 million four-bedroom Hollywood Hills mansion she bought in 2016. Demi's visitors have included her mother Diana de la Garza, her 16-year-old half-sister Madison de la Garza, and her on-off boyfriend Wilmer Valderrama, whom she split from in 2017. Social media supporters include Lady Gaga, Keith Urban, The Jonas Brothers, Ariana Grande, Bruno Mars, Ellen DeGeneres, Kesha, Tyra Banks, Halsey, Mario Lopez, Emmy Rossum, and Ruby Rouse. The New Mexico-born beauty's medical crisis came four months after she triumphantly announced she turned six years sober to her captive, combined 162.8 M. Lovatix. Then last month, the homeschooled Melania ominously released a somber ballad called Sober, in which she confessed to her parents that she's not sober anymore. I think the everlasting addiction in my life has been food. My eating disorder started when I was very young. That's something that I deal with on a daily basis. It's kind of the last thing to go, Lovato confessed to Drive. Phil on March 20th. I feel like I've conquered my addiction and alcoholism where I don't even think about it anymore. But my struggles with my food issues are something that I still deal with. But I'm growing, and I'm in a really good place today. Demi, born Demetria, will next compete for five trophies, including Choice Snapcatter, at the fan-voted Teen Choice Awards airing August 12 on Fox. The No Promises songstress is still scheduled to kick off the Latin American fourth leg of her 51-date Tell Me You Love Me world tour at Arena Ciudad de Mexico in Mexico City on September 20.